what's up guys i'm going through a little bit of buy and try training here five weeks out from the kentucky state bodybuilding show and uh, i started off with close grip bench and this is just a little different way than you normally see i let my elbows go parallel to the bar rather than let them come down and say let's face uh, elbows don't face my feet so to speak they're pointed out and i found this really hits my tries a lot better and it takes a lot of pain off of my elbow and you'll see i have that elbow sleeve on my right elbow because of some severe pain but doing that movement there you know it really uh doesn't bother it at all next i move into some hammer curls i like to go heavy on hammer curls you know uh, when you do hammer curls there's no need to bring the weight all the way up halfway up is far enough uh, and you also see I'm wearing that Demonic Athletic gym swag. Check them out at demonicathletics.com. And uh, these hoodies, man, they're so soft and uh, awesome to train in. And uh, they don't burn you up. And they just uh, keep you warm enough to start a little sweat. Which is always good for the muscle once you get into the gym. Kind of gets the blood flowing a little quicker. Uh, lying one arm extensions. Uh, this is one of my favorite moves. This really hits the inside of the tri better than anything I've ever found. Uh, I just use my opposite hand to spot myself because I don't want to bust myself in the face. But turn your face away from, uh, as you'll see me, I have my face turned away from the weight. So if it come down, it's gonna smack me in the jaw. Uh, one arm curls. When you turn sideways on a bench like this, whether it's uh, you know a preacher curl machine like this, a preacher curl, or standing behind a bench doing dumbbell curls, Turn your body sideways, and what that will do in time is that will build you a nice little peak. It takes a lot of time to build that up, but it will happen. I think it's just the way that it stretches your bicep out there is why that uh, occurs in time. And it never hurts to spot yourself a little bit. Uh, get in a few extra nice reps. Take the weight slow on the way down, you know, and just help yourself back up. I uh, recently saw a pro bodybuilder doing these type of curls. Uh, I know a lot of people have probably saw them done with the barbell, but what I did here is I just brought in the, the dumbbells and I, you know, I don't let my wrist pop up. I keep my wrist either level or let it go down because when you do that, it, it really hits the buy a lot more than it would if you raise your wrist toward your bicep, if that makes sense. Just a couple different variations here. One straight up and down, one across the body a little bit. But you can see what it does for the bias. Really good stretch here. This is a dip machine and I'm doing it for tries and you saw when I was facing that way I also let my elbows uh, go up go straight out you know so they're parallel with the handles and then when I turn around my elbows are sort of back but this did give me a lot of pain in that elbow that I was talking about earlier. After this movement I go over to a uh, assisted dip machine and I just use the seats and do some push downs with it. Uh, just another good movement for the tries. Uh, keep your elbows tucked in close to your body and you know push down and uh, there you go. You're hitting those tries pretty good. And finish off with just a one arm extension. Uh, one arm push down. But overall it was a great day of training and I uh, look forward to making a few more videos in the upcoming weeks. And if you haven't out checked out uh, Charlotte's YouTube page, she's been doing videos for a while. And uh, subscribe there and check out what her and Kim have going on right now. Thank you guys as always. I really do appreciate it.